Seems some reddish wildflowers on the UT campus will be safe for now. Last week we told you about the maroon blue bonnets on campus. Some believe pranksters from Texas A&M planted the flowers near the UT Tower. The reports, though, that UT plans to dig up those maroon-colored flowers appear to be wrong now. In fact, today the university said in a news release they will leave the plants alone, though they will collect the seeds to prevent more flowers from popping up. The university believes the flowers were planted on purpose, but experts at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center who say there's no reason to kill the flowers. They'll go away by themselves. I mean, what happens when you put these so-called sports or these different colors out into the, into the population? They'll they'll cross pollinate with the other with the other normal blue bonnets, and eventually the population will go away and get dissipated through the whole population. So there's nothing really wrong with that. The plant experts say the blue bonnets are still a great flower for Texas, especially because they're very resilient and don't need much watering.